the present moment is all we have. This instance, this fleeting heartbeat, this delicate breath, it's a tiny yet profound snapshot of the eternal now. Like an artist capturing the essence of beauty in a momentary burst of inspiration, life is a continuous tapestry woven with threads of the present. In this vast canvas of existence, each of us plays a unique part. We are instruments in the grand symphony of life, each contributing our notes to the orchestra of reality. Our lives echo in the cosmic auditorium, adding to the melody that forms the universe. Consider, if you will, a river. It begins as a fragile trickle high up in the solitude of the mountains. Over time and distance, through valleys and forests, over rocks and under bridges, it transforms into a mighty watercourse. Yet during its journey, the river never once questions its direction. It doesn't ponder, should I go around this rock or overcome it? It simply flows. It trusts the journey, the process. It surrenders to the pull of gravity the lay of the land, and the call of the sea. Just like the river, you too are part of a grander flow. But perhaps you found yourself standing on the banks of your own life's river, peering into the depths and wondering, am I in the right place? Am I flowing in the right direction? You see, we often feel that life is something we need to control, to direct, to manage. We attempt to dam the river, divert its course, and tame its wild currents, but this is as futile as the river trying to control its journey. The river doesn't need to control its path because it is the journey, it is the flow. Let's recall the parable of the Taoist farmer, an ancient tale imbued with profound wisdom. In a quaint forgotten village, the farmer led a simple, serene life. One fateful day, his only horse escaped into the wilderness. The villagers came to console him, expressing sympathy for his misfortune. The farmer only responded with a wise maybe. Days turned into weeks, and then, as if by a stroke of providence, the horse returned, bringing with it a herd of wild horses. The villagers exclaimed, What incredible luck! Yet the farmer, tranquil and unperturbed, merely said, Maybe. In an attempt to tame one of the wild horses, the farmer's son fell and broke his leg. The villagers once again offered their condolences for the apparent misfortune. Undeterred by their interpretations, the farmer softly replied, Maybe. Weeks rolled into months, and the emperor's men came to the village, forcibly drafting all able-bodied young men for a brutal war. However, the farmer's son, with his broken leg, was spared. The villagers couldn't decide whether this was good luck or bad. But our sage farmer merely smiled and said, Maybe. The farmer didn't resist the ebb and flow of life. He didn't hastily label events as good or bad, but rather trusted the natural course of things. In this trust, he discovered unexpected grace. So, the question is, can we learn to trust life's flow, even when it seems to carry us off course? Can we, like the farmer, hold our judgments and trust in the wisdom of the universe? Trusting the flow is not about being passive or disengaged. It's about understanding that the current of life is a wiser navigator than our feeble attempts at control. It's about recognizing that even when we can't see it, we're being carried toward exactly where we need to be. When we trust the flow of life, we step into alignment with the universe. We surrender our resistance, our fears, our incessant need to control. We melt into the cosmic dance, becoming partners with the universe in the waltz of existence. And it's within this space of surrender we find unexpected grace, peace and joy. You're not merely a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop. The universe is not something outside of you, it's within you. You are not in the universe. The universe is in you. When we trust the flow of life, we become like the Taoist farmer, calmly smiling in the face of uncertainty, secure in the knowledge that we're exactly where we need to be. And it's in this trust that we uncover unexpected grace. The invitation is to trust the flow of life, surrender to its current, and uncover the unexpected grace that waits patiently when we do. If you have found resonance or illumination within this space we've created, I encourage you to share your thoughts, insights, or experiences in the comments below. Engaging with one another not only enriches our understanding, but also contributes to a collective wisdom, a shared exploration of the universe within us. I also invite you to visit our website, aglowlifestyle.com, where you'll find more spiritual content. Remember, 
Every interaction, every comment, every like and subscription brings us closer to a collective awakening. Let go, trust the flow, discover grace, trust the journey, fellow seekers.